Welcome to the lecture number 9 of the series Unreal Engine 5 for ArcGIS and in today's tutorial we will model the side cushions and a blanket ok so let's get started first of all let me select these three cushions and I'll scale them on local Z axis ok let's move them down on local Z axis ok let's scale them on local Y yes and let's go into the side view and I'll move them in local y-axis ok ok so let's add a cube I'll scale this down let's scale this on x Ok, let's go into the edit mode and I'll add a few loop cuts. Ok, let's go into the modifiers tab and let's add subdivision surface. I'll change this to simple and let's increase the level of subdivision. Okay, let's go into the physics properties and I'll add cloth simulation. Let's move to frame number one. Okay, let's add the pressure of 10 and let's disable the gravity and let's run the simulation. Okay, so this looks good we have to make a few changes let's enable the gravity and let's increase the quality steps to 10 and let's change this distance to 0 0.001 let's increase the clean quality to 5 ok and let's change this vertex mass to 0 0.001 0 0.01 sorry ok let's select this mesh and let's add collision I'll change this to 0 0.001 same goes for this mesh as well ok let's go into the side view and let's disable the sub D and the cloth simulation let's move this on X and rotate this on Y ok let's go into the frame number 1 let's enable sub D and the cloth simulation and let's run the simulation ok this looks fine yes ok let's move to frame number 1 let's disable both of these and let's move this on y axis and let's enable these two and run the simulation again
let's disable these two and let's uh, move this on x and rotate it on y just a little bit more and move this on y axis and let's enable these two and run the simulation again Let's apply everything and let's add shade smooth and let's add another subdivision surface modifier. Let's move this on Y just a little. This looks good. Okay, so let's go into the top view and let's add another cube to model the small cushion. Let's scale this down and Let's scale this on z-axis. Okay. Let's go into the edit mode and I'll add a few loop cuts. Okay. Let's select the sharp edges. And I'll type in scale on Z axis and I'll press zero to merge the outer edges. Okay. Let's select this mesh and let's add a sub D. Change this to simple and let's add a cloth simulation. Let's change this to 10. This one to 0 0.01. Let's increase the collision's quality to 5 and let's decrease this distance to 0 0.001. Okay. Let's rotate this on Y. Let's place it right here and yeah, I think this is okay. Let's run the simulation. Let's go into the modifiers tab. This is fine. Okay. I forgot to add the pressure. Let's check the pressure and let's Increase this to 10. Let's run the simulation again. Okay. Let's scale this up. Place it right here and let's run the simulation. Yeah, this is perfect. Okay. Let's go back to the frame number one and let's rotate this on local y axis. Okay, yes. Let's run the simulation again.
okay so this is fine okay let's select this and let's go into the top view let's press shift d and i'll place it right here let's move back to frame number one and let's rotate this on z axis okay let's move this right here okay yes let's play Let's select this mesh and let's create a copy. I press Shift D and copy it on X axis. Let's rotate this on Z. And let's move it on X. And let's select this cushion and let's go into the first frame. I'll press Shift D and let's place it right here and let's go into the top view let's rotate this on z axis okay yes and let's play the simulation oh i forgot to add the collisions for this mesh and this one Let's select this one and let's go into the physics properties. Let's add collision. Let's type in 0 0.001. Let's select this one as well. Let's go into the collisions. And let's change this to 0 0.001. Okay. Let's run the simulation again. Let's move to frame one and let's rotate this and let's place it right here. Yeah, okay, let's run the simulation. Okay, so I think they look fine. Okay, yes. Okay, now let's select this one and Let's apply everything. Same goes for this one. I'll apply everything. Okay. Let's select all of these. Let's add shit smooth. And I'll copy the modifiers. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I think they look perfect. Okay. So now let's model the blanket. Let's go into the top view and let's add a plane to model the blanket. Let's move this on Y. Let's scale this on X. And let's scale this on Y. Okay. Let's move them up. Let's move it up. Okay. Now let's start adding collisions. Let's select this object. And let's add collision. Let's type in 0 0.001 for this value. I'll copy this value. Let's select this mesh and let's add collision. Let's paste the same value. Okay. We have collisions enabled for other meshes and let's select this one. Let's add collision and let's paste the same value. Okay. Let's select this mesh and I'll add a few loop cuts. Okay. Let's add claw simulation and I'll increase the quality steps to 10. And increase the collision steps to 5. Decrease this distance to 0 0.001. Enable self collisions and decrease this distance to 0 0.001. Okay. Make sure you have gravity enabled. Okay. Let's rotate this on Y and Z. 
let's move this on X and let's run the simulation. Okay. Yes, as you can see that simulation is accurate at this point, but if we look behind, our plane has simply ignored this mesh. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to recalculate the normals for this mesh. Okay. Let's go into the face orientation mode. And as you can see that this red color indicates that we need to recalculate our normals. Let's select this mesh and this one. Let's go into the edit mode. Let's select everything and I'll press shift N to recalculate the normals. Okay. Let's disable the face orientation mode and let's move back to frame number one. Let's select our mesh and let's, uh, let's run the simulation again. Okay. Now we can see that we have accurate results. Let's move back to the frame number one and let's add subdivision surface. Let's move this up and let's increase the level. Let's run the simulation again. I'll move this on X and let's play the simulation again. Let's pause the simulation. Let's move this on X. Let's rotate it that way. And let's run the simulation again. Okay, let's pause the simulation and let's check at which frame the simulation is satisfactory. I think this is fine. Yes, I think this is fine. Let's select this mesh and apply all the modifiers and let's add shade smooth. Okay. And let's add subdivision surface. Okay. Yes. So as you can see that we have very nice wrinkles at this position and right here. Okay. Yes. Okay. So our couch modeling is complete. In the next video, we'll model a two seater couch by using these objects. Okay. So I'll see you guys in the next one.